Yes, good afternoon, my viewers. I am here once again. My name still remains the same as Nicholas. So I am uploading a video today which has to do with integration because I believe most students are finding a question like this so very difficult to handle in different kinds of exams, especially when it has to do probably with WAEC, when it has to do with NECO, or when it has to do with UTME, or probably post-UTME. Now I am here to solve this question that is on the board. But before I solve it, I would like to introduce some things on integration. Like for example, when we are integrating, when we are asked to integrate a number like one, one, let me put it here because I'm still making use of this space to solve the question on the board. Note, when we are asked to integrate one, the x, the integral of this will give us x plus constant. When we are asked to integrate 2x the x, for example, 2x the x, all we have to do, there is an invisible power here, all we have to do is just to write the 2x, the invisible power which is 1, we add 1 to the previous 1 that was there before, then divided by the same power we are having at the top, you bring it down, that will be 1 plus 1 plus k, which is this, then 1 plus 1 here is going to give us 2, that will give us 2x raised to the power of 2 over 2 plus k. Now this 2, we cancel this, so the integral of this will become x squared, which is here, then plus the constant. Now let's say for example that we are asked to integrate 10x, the x. Now this one will also give us the same thing as, okay, let me not use 10x, let me convert the 10x to 10x squared, then this will give us 10x, then we add 1 to the 2 that is here, that will be 2 plus 1, the same 2 plus 1 we are meant to bring it down, that will be 2 plus 1, then plus the constant that we are having, 2 plus 1 will give us 3, this will now be 10x raised to the power of 3 over 3, then plus the constant. So this is how we integrate on something that has to do with something like this. Then when coming to a question like this, how do we integrate this? That is the question. Most students, when they are integrating a question like this, what they normally do is, they will split the 3x plus 5 into two parts because of the power of 2. And at the end of the day, they will end up messing up with their result. They don't normally get the answer right. Now there's a technique we use for solving a question like this on integration. What is that technique? Very simple. All we have to do, this is it. We have 3x plus 5. The power is 2. We add 1 to the 2. The same 2 plus 1 we are having as a power, we bring it down, which is over 2 plus 1. Then we now say times derivative of the coefficient of x here. Sorry, derivative of the coefficient of x here is 3. Derivative of the coefficient of x is 3. Then when we are integrating something like this, this is 3x plus 5 raised to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Now we are going to reciprocate, that is we are going to find the inverse of the coefficient of x, the inverse of the coefficient of x which is 3. Now if we are looking for the inverse of the coefficient of x which is 3, that will give us 1 over 3. So what we need to do here is, I have put in my multiplication sign here already, so I am saying times the reciprocate of the coefficient of x, that will give 1 over 3, so we say times 1 over 3, the reciprocate of the coefficient of x, then plus k. 
So right here, we are going to have 3x plus 5, raised to the power of 2 plus 1, this giving us 3, then 2 plus 1, that is over 3, then times 1 over 3, which is this, plus the constant, it is always advisable for us to put the constant. Then all we have to do here, since we are multiplying here, we have to multiply this 3 by this 3 here. That will give us 9. That will give us 9. Then the whole of this here will give us the same thing as this, which is now going to give us 3x plus 5. This raised to the power of 3 over 9. That is 3 times 3, 9. Then plus k. Then in mathematics, when we have something like this, something like this, let's say I have 2x plus 4 over 5. This is the same thing as 1 over 5 in bracket 2x plus 4. So I am going to apply this pattern on something like this. That means from here, my final result will now be 1 over 9 in bracket 3x plus 5 raised to the power of 3 then plus k. That is all. So that is the result for this. That is the final result for this. And I hope this is helpful. Please, in my next uploading, you have to watch out for another question from me. Please, I beg of you, you have to go to the notification button, subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. That is, if you like my video, please subscribe and like and get ready to watch the next uploading which i'm going to upload on my video thank you my viewer thank you very much and remain blessed thank you